Welcome to DIY for Homeowners by Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're sharing two solutions for two common problems. One, how to store all those shoes. And two, what to do with that old crib. As you may know, older cribs can't be donated or reused because of safety issues, just like the one we're using today that was given to us by some of our friends. As we were brainstorming ideas for how to use the parts, we came up with two solutions for taking care of all that shoe storage. <laughs> so come join us as we show you how to store some of those shoes. The bottom piece had a sticker right in the middle that we tried to remove, but we were unsuccessful and decided to see if we could flip over the board so we couldn't see it. We first removed the metal brackets on the sides because these were not gonna work for us. That's when we realized the wood frame was not connected to the base in any way. This allowed us to flip the board over really easily so we couldn't see the sticker part. Then we secured the sides with wood glue and brad nailed them into place. We got the bottom board in place and secured the rest of the box. If you don't have a brad nailer, you can just clamp these and wait for the glue to dry. To seal the bottom, mom used a polyurethane, which will make this just a little bit more durable. Since we only need to move this in one direction under the bed, we're using appliance casters, which are a low profile and inexpensive solution. To secure them to the bottom, we're using construction adhesive hot glue and put them into place. One solution down, now let's move on to our next solution. This is the side part of the crib and we're just using our small circular saw to cut the rails off. No measuring was needed here as we're just using a design element on the spindle as a reference. Then we tested out our idea by clamping the cut piece in an upright position and putting the shoes in place. We figured out the spacing and realized we needed to leave one peg open between pairs of shoes. Then we cut the rail to size, making four rails. We painted the cut tops white to match the rest and decided we wanted to add a little bling with acrylic gemstones. And here they are, all done. This is going to be placed in mom's closet, and we found the easiest way to do that was to attach the four rails to a piece of board. We wood glued the rail on, and Brad nailed it into place. We headed to mom's closet and found a stud to attach the organizer to the wall. I drilled pilot holes and screwed it into place. And here it is, all done, and it holds 12 pairs of shoes. This gives mom easy access to her shoes and doesn't take up a lot of extra space in her closet. And here is the under bed storage solution at my house. You can see it rolls out really nicely and doesn't take up any extra space. What we learned. As we were working on the parts of this crib, we realized that Cribs are really ideal for recycling or reusing in other projects because they are constructed so well. And you may be wondering why we didn't end up painting this. Well, the finish on this crib was really, really good and really in good condition. And you know they have to be constructed well because they're for babies, so mm -hmm. there was no need to put any additional finish on that. You might be wondering if you can actually store high heels on the storage under the bed. And here you can see some high heels are too tall to actually go under, depending on the height of your bed. But here you can see, I just put them to the side and they fit perfectly. Now I've been using this storage solution for uh, a couple of months now and I really, really like it. I like getting all those off the floor and I can see them. But I have transitioned to using that bottom rail to hang scarves and belts and things like that. If you're wondering what we did with all those spindles that we cut off of the rails, well, we use those too. It's actually in a project in my bedroom right now over on the side, and we're gonna share that in an upcoming video. And here's a hint, it is a storage solution. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to continue to support Mother Daughter Projects, please sign up for our newsletter. We send that out once a week and comes directly to your inbox. And there'll be a link in the description to sign up. All right, mom, so how did this project come about? Well, we got a um, text. You got a, actually got a text from one of our friends. Oh, and yeah. She had this crib. And she had tried to, she was going to actually donate it someplace. And her, they, I think it was her daughter, said, no, you can't because it was a drop sided crib. And she sent us like these two like pictures. And she's like, uh -huh. random question, can you use this can for you something? Use this? So... And I remember us looking, I remember us looking at the text. It was like texted to both of us. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the text. I remember us thinking about like, 
of some kind of like towel storage or something, yeah. like blankets because like a ladder kind of right. thing. Yeah. And so we're like, yeah, yeah, we'll go pick it up. And then when we got it, it came with the bottom frame. Mm -hmm. And they're like, if you want this too, we're like, yeah, it took all cool. the parts. <laughs> but do you remember how I originally wanted to use the bottom frame and how like I was like originally what? like this is how we're gonna do it. You know what? I have no idea. I w it was I was always like this would be perfect for Legos. Oh, Legos! For all yeah. my Lego collection. Yes. I was like I could go underneath the table. My Lego room would be perfect. And so that's where we used it for yeah. like a good amount of time. And then I just recently was like, wait, this is perfect for shoe storage. It is. Yes. And it really is. Like, I don't know why I didn't think about that before. Well, the thing that really surprised me about that bottom piece was once we took all the hardware off, it literally it fell, fell apart. apart. I know. And I thought, this is a crib for a baby. And I don't know, it just felt, it just seemed very unsafe that that would be the design yeah. of that. How did you come up with the idea for the storage in your closet? In the closet. Actually, I had just seen, I don't know if it's a pen or if I saw it on Home Talk, someone had made something very similar. And I thought, oh, there's no need to do that when you can just cut the rails off and have those little pegs. Mm. So it actually was a perfect application for that. So and you saw something else that was kind of like Very it. similar, but it certainly wasn't using reusing a crib. Yeah. It, was, it was actually starting something from scratch. Yeah. All right, so I think we got the crib in May. And then the, the bottom storage we actually made in July, because mm -hmm. I was looking up when I was editing the video, we made that in July. And then your thing we made, I think in like the fall and September maybe. Mm -hmm. And then, and then that third thing, the third thing we're going to share. <laughs> so this is about a long project. So from sandals and shorts to jackets and I know, man, long pants. the weather, yeah. Yes. I don't know, was there any frustrations with this project? Was it, I maybe I, the fact that it just kept going on and on and on? Well, I don't know, that wasn't, I, th I think the frustration for you is there's extra stuff in the garage. And you're always which is motivating so it is that was part of it it's, it's like we too. knew when we got it we were in the middle of a bunch of projects and we knew that we wouldn't be able to use it right away but we were like oh this is a cool idea so what we started doing is like when we get something I usually tell you okay, okay. if we don't use it in six months we have to get rid of it clock sticking which is good it's like a creative yes. force creativity thing and we did use it within you know like two months yeah. we used it yeah and then the rest of the parts we kind of put in our storage spot. And then every time I came across them, I'm like, ah, we got to figure out a use for this. And you did. You came up with a good use. Yeah. Well, I I like getting things like that where it forces you to look at what you have and figure out a solution. So I find it a lot, there's a lot of, for me, there's a lot of creativity and junk. I know that's not your... There is for me too, but then I like to add the time frame. Yes. So my new but, thing is the time frame. Yes, like there's a true. door in my garage that I've had for a year now and I'm like it's time to get rid of it because I haven't used it. Well I still want to use it where I said I want to use it. Since we finished that crib or used those parts, haven't quite used all the parts. No, we gotta figure out all, all we, the parts. We found it. I found another one. <laughs> another crib. Oh you guys, oh my gosh. Yes, I got it. And I put it in the car. You, this was like this week. This Listen, week. This yeah. week. My neighbors had a crib in their yard and you were like Oh, we gotta use it. I'm like, no, we just did a crib project. We're done with cribs. But it's totally different. I mean, it, it doesn't have I a know. spindle, so I don't know. We'll save it. We'll keep it for a while, and then if we don't do anything with it, we'll put it out in my trash pile. Uh, yeah, so uh, well, a year from now, in our next, whatever video that is in a year, okay. if we haven't used it, we're getting, we're chucking it. Oh, well, by the way. We'll probably use it. By the way, I really like your cup. Oh, thank you. I don't know. It's just like, it Spoke really speaks to, you, to me. Right? <laughs> yes. I do like wall control, so that's... Do you think we spilled enough tea on we this project? We spilled enough tea. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.